Hello everyone, I'm Reza Tangasani and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a model for predicting the residual stress. For starting, I need to tell you that you already need to create the thermal model, which you will did in the previous uh, video. So we already have this file. First of all, I'm going to open the Abacus file. And then uh, this is the model that we did, uh, did it for uh, last time for the thermal model. So if you don't have it, you need to go to the, our pre previous video and check the thermal, uh, thermal model. Here we copy the model and then we change it. You can rename it uh, whatever you want, but I prefer to put two here. Here is a uh, model two. You can see that we are in the model two. In part, we don't need to change anything. In property, we need to add the mechanical property. So material one, I'm gonna add elastic here, 200E9, uh, partial ratio is uh, 0 0.3, and for plastic, we have 200E6, zero. We don't need to define the complex plastic uh, behavior for the material, so everything's fine here. And now for here, we need to go to expansion, and then we need to define the expansion coefficient. In here, I'm going to say E1, E minus 6. Okay, uh, everything is fine now. I'm going to close it. Next one is assembly. Assembly is fine. And then uh, for the step. Before going to a step, I would like to go to the intersection here. And then we need to delete this. You can do it by Python or you can clicking it, uh, it depends on you, if you uh, have a big model, you need to do it by Python, but if it's a small model, a couple of steps, you can do it by clicking. Uh, we don't uh, change the deactivation, uh, we already uh, explained it in the previous video, so we don't need to do it exp uh, explain it here. And then the next step, uh, we go here, and then I'm gonna deactivate all of them. But here we need to define the st uh, statical general. So I'm gonna replace it with the statical static general L here. And I'm gonna energy we put an energy on and then the same value for step which is one e minus five. Uh, everything's fine here. We put zero on here and let's make it um, um, one e minus six. Okay, and then for intersection is everything is fine. I'm gonna uh, explain it later. For load, for the first step, I need to save the file. Make sure that you already define the set directory. As you can see, I already set the directory, so I have it in here. So when I send save the file, you're gonna see it's gonna be updated. I'm gonna copy and paste it in here and change it to python.py by this I'm going to change the format I'm going to open it now and this is the python file that I we created it okay I need this code and also we already uh, gave you another file for welding I'm going to open it we're going to use this file again so in here I'm going to copy this code this is the new code that I, as I said I explained it in the uh, other pre uh, video that how the python code works put it in here and here i'm going to just need to copy this uh we don't have this one initial we have it so i'm gonna put it here initial maximum For name, we need to change it to welding one. And an LGM previous it should be a priest because we are working on welding one pre step. For for time period, it should be one second. So I'm gonna say one for here. And I think it's everything's fine here. I'm gonna copy this again and put in here. But with only this different that now the previous should be like this uh, the name it should be here and then i'm going to delete this code i don't need it anymore it was for thermal model i'm gonna uh, tap 
at each line. Then we need to change the model one to two because we already rename it. So every model should be one model two, as you can see. I'm gonna save it. Okay, and now I'm gonna run the code. I'm gonna go here, run a script, and then here for welding, I'm gonna run it. As you can see, it's run, and you can see it's created the steps. It's okay. Um, and now, if I go to a step, I can see it's already defined a new step. Here they are. And now there are a couple uh, changes that I need to do. First of all, I need to check the thermal uh, to see the temperature. I mean, we don't need it, but uh, we just wanted to see compare the results. And now here, I'm going to create another uh, step uh, for statical general to just check the unclamping step. Uh, 100 increment is fine, and here it should be 10, and the maximum is fine. It's a kind of dummy step, so it's not very important, but we need it. And then here I'm in the interaction. We already defined the code, so if you check on it, we can see it has the activating elements so it's good now we can go for load for load uh, it's already activated because because it was for thermal model but um, here we need to create a boundary condition we need to fix this part this surface so I'm gonna go here I'm gonna go for step 7 uh, I'm gonna in here I need to put it in the step uh, in the first step, but in the step seven I need to deactivate it because to to show unclamping. After deactivating this, you need to create another boundary condition for convergence issue. So I would seven at the last step. We're gonna go with this. Uh, uh, select one node in here, for example, and then you're gonna type symmetrically. Just to make sure that it's gonna converge. Otherwise, it might not converge. It depends. So here is everything fine. Uh, the, th uh, the other thing that we need to do is uh, defining the temperature in here to couple the thermal model to the mechanical model. So I'm here and we're gonna go and create the predefined temperature. And here, uh, from the previous step, I'm gonna say continue. I select the whole. And uh, then here I'm gonna use from the output. I'm gonna use the old model that we did. We did uh, the old results. The beginner step, the first step was one, increment was one, end step and end increment. Uh, we don't put any value for ending increment. If you ha your mesh is same, you need to check this. And if it's your mesh is not same, you can check this one. I mean, the size of the, the elements. But always check this one is good. When you open it, you already can see this one. This is for the thermal model that we did. It was for defining at uh, initial temperature. We don't need it anymore. So I'm going to deactivate it and then here uh, modify these values. Here I'm going to say modify. Uh, this step is for the second one. So I'm going to say begin step two and step two. Beginning increment should be one. For here again, modify three. Okay, after doing this, you don't need to do this for here because uh, in our previous thermal model, we had uh, six steps with previous step, uh, but in here we have it for unclamping. So it's not necessary for now. I'm gonna go to the mesh section. Mesh section, I need to uh, change the formulation. I'm gonna go to part, and then I'm gonna select the whole part here. Uh, select 3D. Okay, Re uncheck the re reduce integration. It's not good. Uh, I need to explain it more, but I'll ju just to have a better convergence uh, for definitely additive manufacturing building, you, you need to uncheck it. Okay, after that, you uh, do that. And now you can go to job and create your, your job. Uh, create job two is fine. And now you submit your job. As you can see, the job is completed, so we can see the results. I'm gonna go here, and then 
Um, here you can see the changes in the, during uh, the manufacturing. Sure. And also you can see the temperature uh, temperature because we check the NT11. You can see the movement of the laser on or the arc on the material. But if you want if you want to see the changes in, in residual acid during manufacturing, you can check uh, slick on here and then you can go for ODB. Here you check on the centroid. Edit here. I'm gonna select this one. I'm gonna plot it. As you can see, this is the time that the uh, heat moves on the material, and then it's try to uh, it's uh, start decreasing and then it goes up to. And from the, this time to this time, you can see it's uh, almost linear, which shows the unclamping effect. Also, if you want to see the residual stress by, for example, in one direction, S11, you can see it here. You can see it's uh, the tensile and then it compresses uh, and then uh, it decreases. Okay, I think it's over. Uh, Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, please let us know so we can help you with uh, your questions and your problems. Until the next video, bye.